everybody and welcome back. I hope you all are doing very well. I am doing A-OK. -okay. Tonight, I will be joining, uh, uh, Melador and I will be joining each other to be playing uh, Hide and Shriek, as you can see in this corner down here. Um, so yeah, Thursdays, not my usual stick. Um, in fact, actually, that reminds me, let me just quickly say... Hey everyone, Melador219. Come on. And I are live playing hide and streak together. Hang if you want. Um let me post a link to his channel and a link to um, there we go. Okay. Um, I am not familiar with this game at all. Uh, I assume Matt is neither. Uh, in fact, I don't. Th I think he said he wasn't when I when we talked about it. Um, but. Uh, yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> I'm excited, um, and it's any, any time I can play games with my, my buddy, my buddy Matt, uh, I'm on board with it, especially if it's spooky games, um, and, uh, yep, yep, um, Normally I don't stream on Thursdays. This is just kind of a last minute hop on, hang out with Matt. Um, so if things seem a little ramshackle, that's kind of why. Uh, before we get to properly started though, Linktree slash Crimson Knight has links where you can find me uh, normally. Socials, Discord, YouTube, Twitch, etc. Co uh, places you can support me as well, like Kofi and Patreon. Uh, so please check those out if you want. If not, that's perfectly fine, and I won't hold it against you. Uh, that's once again Linktree slash Crimson Knight, exactly as it's shown on above my head. Um, or Kofi.com slash Crimson Knight. Or Patreon.com slash Crimson Knight. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, let me chat with Matt and see how he's doing. All right, um, meanwhile, let's poke around. Uh, I don't have any content warnings for this game because I I, I don't know what, what to expect. So just be aware. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Settings wise, okay. Uh, how's the stream looking? Stream's looking pretty fine. Um, I turned off the motion blur. Um, I don't want people feeling seasick or anything. Um, trolls. Um, forward, backward, right, left, sprint, crouch. Uh, toggle UI. Uh, let's. Do we have tab anywhere? Let's put the. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, that won't work. Okay, so I can't put escape on open menu. That's fine. M is fine. Uh, mouse. Uh, space bar to scream. Right mouse button is drop. Grab his left, cast a spell. Interesting. Okay. 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 
Interesting. Uh, we're gonna have to unlock some shit. I, hopefully it's not like just... Uh... Purchases. You know? Microtransactions, that's the word. Ooh, I could have a female voice. Do I want to have a female voice? Fuck it, why not? Uh, ooh, I ha ooh, get them Darth Maul horns. Ooh, some eyeballs. Fuck it, why not? Shriek saved. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> Great. That's phenomenal. Okay, but it does tell me that I do need a jump. I need a jump scares content warning. So bear with me a moment while I take care of that. All right. Then. There we go. So, anyway. All right, grimoire spells. Okay, interesting. Progression. Okay. And play. Private match. Uh, actually, how to play. Rules. Hey there, Matt, how you doing? You're doing all right? All right. I, I Sorry, I just realized that your microphone is very quiet for me. Let me fix that on my side of things. That is absolutely an on me side of things. So. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bump you up there. Test? Hello. A little bit more. All right, test that. What's up? There we go. There we go. All right, we want the we want the stream to be able to hear you scream. No, um, <laughs> uh, so for the record, I do have you up, uh, so that my view counts as counts to your stream. However, I have another streamer up, like tabbed to, so that you know I'm not screen peeking because this is a competitive game, um. So have you looked at the uh, how to play section? Also, this game is kind of loud. Let me up, let me lower, let me lower the volume for this game. Yeah, I'm I'm dropping it to about fifty uh, master volume, halving the music to fifty as well. Uh, dropping the voice a bit and the effect a bit. Um, I'll drop the master a little bit more too, um, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna do a another tweak on my side as well. A little bit of a tweak. Awesome. All right. Um. So. Yeah, I, yeah, I want to be able to hear you, man. This game says no, you can only hear this game. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, sorry. Uh, I asked you if you'd had a chance to look at the how to play yet. Uh, yes. Um, okay. As I was waiting for you to go live, I basically explained how everything works. Um, the All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. Uh, did you do any customization for your skull? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Out of curiosity, do you have like the Darth Maul horns and the eyeballs? Um, I have the horns, but I didn't put in the eyeballs. Okay. All right. Yeah, I saw the Darth Maul horns, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> all right, so. For the benefit of my stream, then, uh, 
Every Halloween, two students compete. At midnight, they turn themselves invisible. You have 10 minutes to win or um, uh, to win, either you scare your opponent three times in a row for an instant victory, or you find magic orbs for the highest score. And then you put them on essentially a, it looks like a summoning circle on a pedestal. Yeah, um, like a yeah. Hunt for hidden runes around the school and use the runes to cast spells. Fuse the runes for new, for unique effects. Okay. Pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. Um, look inside cupboards, drawers, and cabinets for runes and orbs. Uh, uh, and the two okay, the so... Are, are, ...is basically getting enough points by getting your, collecting enough of your um, orbs oh, and getting, you know, the higher score, or... Right. Um, yeah in a row yeah uh and the shriek meter tells you you the basically the little mort figure you've got the skull that tells you your current status whether you've been scared whether you're ready to shriek whether you're prowling um or if you are visible um to your opponent <laughs> um and orb will point you to your altar after a while okay so apparently there's a specific altar that you take the orbs to yeah uh don't be afraid to experiment with new combinations of runes Different runes are available each game. Uh, spell targets. Uh, there's a list that you can have. Uh, if there's a little door, that's an interactive object, like trap drawer, uh, trap drawers, uh, doors, or cupboards. Uh, like a spell you can cast on the floor. Uh, looks like a little floor thing. Uh, put it like actually, it almost looks like the the cell games arena from DBZ. <laughs> it's almost what that little symbol looks like. Um, put a trap on the ground near you. Careful not to. Tr oh, you can trigger your own traps. Oh, that's good to know. Oh man, uh, you can cast spells directly on yourself if they have the little orange person symbol. Um, or you can curse your foe wherever they are if they have like the little skull and crossbones. Um, if it has like a sniper reticle, then it's an aim spell where you have to aim the spell. Ooh. Earn tons of mods to customize your shriek. Pat. Be quiet. Your opponent can hear you. Oh. Uh, your opponent. You can. If you combo attack. Okay. So use combo attacks. Like you, your opponent triggers a trap and then shriek on them. Um. Interesting. Uh. A couple of traps that you can place on doors that'll either pin the person in place or or violently you know like force push them and then you right they're recovering on the ground you can run up and scream at them uh there's also a thing that says uh traps leave a small magical residue so basically there is a visual telltale sign of where a trap is mm -hmm. and i approve of that i always approve when they give little basically balancing effects um okay so yeah so now i'm looking at what the hud usually looks like in a game just to make sure my camera's in a decent spot it looks like it is uh so i won't be moving that um the shriek meter shriek flow sprint meter shriek streak i love that i love that that's what that's called your orb color me memorized spells spell target type okay Waz to move, E to cast spell, shift to sprint, space to shriek, control to crouch, and then mouse for interact and drop. Okay. All right. So now for the, I'm assuming we want to do a private match. 
I've invited you. Um, so now for the between us nitty gritty here. The most important question I can think to ask is, are we leaving ourselves unmuted or are we muting in game? Like, if we're in a match, are we going to mute? Because uh, I don't think there is an in-game voice chat. But I also like the idea of teasing and taunting each other. I, I, I do. Let's, let's leave it up for now. Okay. And if it gets too distracting or it's too much, we can always decide to mute and, and or deafen in-game. Uh, I mean... I can't promise I won't sing like a creepy doll. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Oh, interesting. Oh, right, we only have 10 minutes. Hmm. Did you just banish me to like a labyrinth? Interesting. Oh, 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 now this. I think. So my question to you is, do you know where I am at this exact moment? That sounded like a lie. And it was. My, my little whip spook you? Uh, spook is a strong term. Knock me on my ass for sure. Was that an aim spell or? Oh, I, sh I, I did a dumb. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, I just realized. Orbs have to be uh uh your color yeah i mean you could still pick up the other person but... i am way i'm being way too passive here okay Oh, I'm invisible. You can't see me. Illusion. Think of yourself as uh, John Cena. Oh. I keep crouch walking because I'm like, because <laughs> I'm like, uh, stealth mode activated, you know? Uh -huh. 
Oh ho. That's fascinating. Ah, uh, well, fine. <laughs> I'm loving the layout of this place. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> I take it something happened. It, it just got hella dark in here. Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> womp womp. Oh, did something happen? Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did. Nice. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Hold on, did you trap an orb? I may have put down a decoy orb. Well, I found that. And another puzzle piece. Illusion. Interesting. Hey, yo! Yeah! <laughs> I- I think you've won this handily, my friend. I'm just- I'm just getting lucky finding all sorts of good things. For the record, there's a spell that's treasure site. I found one that's orb site, that's pretty neat. Yeah. 
they're kind of the same thing. I think I'm, yeah, you've got this one. You've won this one handily. So I tried that on you, but your altar moved. So I think there's more than one altar at given any given time. Because um, I think and there's also a, a, an ability to summon your. Uh, mm. in, in this round, there was an option to summon your altar to where you were in the room. Got it. Got it. Got it. So did you did you do that at least once? I, I did that about two or three times. Okay. All right. That would definitely explain why uh, the, your altar just vanished for me once when I had basically what I had do is I had set up two tra two different traps on two different doors into the room and they were the only way into the room. And I was essentially laying in wait and then your altar just straight up vanished. I'm like, oh, well, fuck that then. <laughs> All right. Now, how do we? I think I think we have to exit to main menu and then do again. Oh Jesus! I unlocked new customization abilities. Oh, did you now? Yeah, I now have flaming eyeballs as an option. Oh yep, so do I. And I have new horns. I don't have the horns, but that's probably because you won, and so you got more stuff than I did. All right, cool. Just, just call my skull Ghost Rider, I guess. Right. Kind of looks like it. I do like the eyeball look. Yeah. Anyway, you were saying. There was an ability to. There was one ability that you could use to dash through walls, so that was pretty fun. Mm-hmm. So if I saw a sparkle on a door, I could just dash through the wall. All right, invited you again. All right. This is fun. Yeah. I, I like how every time the rooms change, so there's always there's always something new. Yep. It's like having a different map. Um, yeah. And I like how it's uh, incredibly straightforward. Yep. Nothing it's not bad. unnecessarily complicated, yeah. Yep. Like Fortnite, where you have to fucking... Oh. oh. I see how it is. Yeah. If I hadn't misfired my shriek, I would have absolutely been able to one-two you. Uh -huh. 
I, I was standing. I watched you put your orb on the altar. Just for the record. <laughs> There's a lot of floor spells this time. At least that's what I've been getting. I've been getting something very similar. <laughs> Immediately triggers my own trap. <laughs> immediately triggers my own trap <laughs> oh shit the longer you're in the labyrinth area it the more it sucks your score fuck me yep. yeah, it's pretty rough. i also didn't realize that picking up runes gives you score <laughs> i need to stop trying to blind fire that's what happened. I, that's what. That's what's wrong. I need to stop trying to blind fire. We have made it. Super dark again. Oh, that's fucking awesome! Yes, I did make it super dark. Apologies, sort of. Nice. And you got them devil horns. Nice. It's also a good thing that I have learned that you can um, see your opponent carrying their orb. Yeah. When you're carrying an orb, it becomes very risky. I love the environmental storytelling too. Pretty nice, isn't it? Fuck me. Well, I need any advantage I can get, man. You and your fake orbs. I mean, you sent me to one too, unless I just sent myself to one again. I'm blind. It's fine. Why does this maze change every time? Right? Ah! 
You got me. I get you one more time and it's all over. Yeah. I need to figure out how to get you, man. Or just play for time. I just got myself with my own trap again. I still cannot, t I cannot see where the traps are. Like I have, like I, I have not been able to d discern the the difference no you got me I think when it when it's the final scare it jumps up on both screens because did you see your because mine is the one that has the four horns and it's still got eyeballs. I don't have the fire. So if you see your skull, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I gotcha. Oh, I got a, I got a few levels this time, let's go. Yeah. You wrecked my shit. Oh, this please you. Let me just talk to my dad. <laughs> Do I want a, a freaking, do I want a set of helmet horns? Or not helmet horns, mohawk horns. No, I like the Darth Maul horns better. Okay. Um, all right. You ready for me to send another invite? Hmm. What's the alternate? What's the other option? Uh, Scarecrow. Interesting. Okay. And I got an achievement for turning in an orb, even though you uh, locked me in the, you, you shrouded me in darkness. Nice. Okay. Bright pocket, peril sight, runic sight, ghost flame, and hopscotch. I think that's more or less what we had last round. Alrighty. As is correct in the world. Oh, damn it. Uh, hold on a second. I need to change my settings a bit. Because being on full uh, on Windows full screen is causing me to have to it's screwing me over a little bit because my mouse keeps moving off the thing. All right, we're good. Carry on. I don't know if you even stopped at anything you were doing, but oh no, I, I stayed in place. All right. I love that you can leave the doors partially open if you want to. You sure can. It's pretty great. And if you open them too quickly, they'll squeak. Uh, 
I got tricked, apparently. It did not tell me I got... It only told me I got tricked. I didn't see anything. Oh! Fuck! I just saw a blue orb floating right past my head. I honestly surprised you didn't get me. I... I have seen that happen three times where I've watched you put an orb on the thing and hit the button aimed at you and have apparently missed. I'm waiting. No, I'm not. <laughs> What did you do to me? I may have uh, summoned the little friend to our safety. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. I may have been following you around the room, waiting for my shriek to re to uh, <laughs> to re to uh, refill. You knew where I was, huh? Oh, I watched you walk into the room because I had just opened that door, and you closed the door. <laughs> I watched, I watched my red uh, altar vanish from that room, and then I, w I was just like, blue altar, right here. What is this? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How did you know I was there? Did, you por did a portal just drop you into the same room I was in? No. I have no idea. I just hit the space bar. <laughs> Fucking hell. Genuinely. I wasn't even looking the same direction.
Like it yoinked me to the right. I was, I cast this thing with the, to put a portal on the ceiling, and I was trying to see what the hell that did. I thought it was going to. Uh... And I was like, well, maybe it dropped him in here. Right. I thought it dropped you into the room, is what I'm saying. It didn't seem to do anything. Um. Oh, God, did I trap this door? Nope, but you did. Well done. <laughs> not that, not this time. I ain't going out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was like, Genuinely, I was I was looking at the portal in the ceiling. And I'm like, did it drop him into the fucking thing? And if so, maybe I'm looking at him, and so I hit the button. Also, I know that you trapped when it, that you put a fake orb down in that one room because I watched you do it. Oh, interesting. It only rings when I move. Hey, that's not fair. I have determined, and this may not be true, but I have determined that the, uh, oh shit, okay. That the fastest way through the labyrinth is to essentially line up with the portal and just beeline towards it and then just shift left and right as you need to. Uh-huh. 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 I mean, you've got 60,000 points, my man. And 30 seconds left on the clock. Less than. Well done. <laughs> Clumsy Wiley. <laughs> I tripped more. I tripped more traps than you did. I tripped more of my own traps than you tripped of mine. <laughs> but you did fuse a lot more than I did. Yes. And I don't know how I did it, but I found. But at one point, I fused three things, and that's the. Actually, a couple times I fused three things. How do... Yeah, that was the one where uh, um, you could. It, it popped up at the bottom of the page as you being able to sense me. Yeah, that was one of them. The other, there was another one that um, I forget what it did now, but it wasn't nearly that powerful. I'm gonna give me the scarecrow now. I'm going to do that. I think I'll stick with um, one for now. But I did get a new 
customization option for him. Nice. Invite it again when you're ready. Nice. All right. Let's see what this has to say. I, I like how also the uh, it changes a little bit each time you go into the portal. Mm hmm. I am blue. Come on. Oh no. That's powerful. I need to remember which door I put that on. Oh, a new grimoire entry. Interesting. I watched you open the door. I was setting up a trap and I accidentally pressed the, the button to let me dash through the wall. Mm -hmm. I wondered what was happening because I saw you um, open one of the I saw you open several of the um, lockers, and I was trying to figure out which locker you'd go to next. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait, nope, that's the one I put on. Mm, nope. Mm -mm. Nice. So apparently there's a specific area where like, if you're not, even if you're not immediately looking at the person, if you're close enough, it will like yoink you to them. Because the few times that I've scared you, that's happened. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Oh, you have to be in order to fuse multi, uh, like three different runes. They have to be different kinds. Like they have to be different colors, I think. I triggered my own trap. 
Yeah, doesn't that suck? <laughs> Nah, too busy putting an orb on a thing. Something I've not felt since. I keep ending up back in the same damn room. Even though it's only a few rooms, it, 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 it's relatively easy to kind of get lost in here. Yeah. Oh? What was that sound? I had just picked up an orb, man. <laughs> Unless I was the one who set that trap and I just triggered my own trap. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. Oh my god, this is lasting for ages. Oh, you got a little bell on you? No. No. No, I hit one of the surprises I had set for you. That was the prop. If that was, if that's the room I think it was, that was the spell I set at the first at the start of the match. Where I was like, "Shit, I need to remember where I put this." <laughs> we, we don't know how. I, I, I've been going in between those two rooms waiting. For you. Man, I'm gonna stop setting traps, man. <laughs> I keep setting my, I keep setting them off on my face. Fuck it. I'm gonna just sprint. Thank you. <laughs> I realized after I had sprinted into that room that I should have cast a spell on the door I went through because that was the door that was open. Oh well. I was just, I trapped the heck out of, uh, out of those two rooms. Yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh! I can put a little stylish hat on the little scarecrow guy. <laughs> yep. He's definitely got one of them milady hats on now. Oh, there you go. Invite Clint when you're ready. No rush.
I'm gonna stop setting traps. <laughs> All right. I wish it would not make me have to uh, make us have to jump back to uh, the start, the, the main menu. You can sense me. I sure can, but I can't freaking do anything. <laughs> I wish there was a thing that, like, you could do something with the red orbs, you know, like the other color orbs. <laughs> Are you in the room with your altar right now? The real question is, am I in the room with your altar right now? I don't know. Oh, sorry, that's me. I'm hoovering them all up. Tee hee. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, did you miss your shriek? You didn't then. I love that the first like five seconds, that first whole, how, how, like, it felt like half an hour, honestly. The first half an hour was just us dancing around each other in that room. That, that was fun. <laughs> it was like oh God, I'm back. Just waiting for the other person to make a mistake. Or for us to get close enough to, uh, for it to auto lock on, essentially. But yeah, no, I was absolutely hoovering up every single one of those um, runes in that room. I knew something had to have been going on. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Yeah. The fact that I could not, for the life of me, figure out... Figure out how to, um... Uh, no, 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 sorry, rephrasing. For the life of me, I put so many freaking traps in that room. The fact that you didn't trigger one of them is kinda in infuriating to me <laughs> like i was trapping the hell out of that room with my fucking room with the runes and everything i i, I was being so incredibly careful <laughs> yeah. oh george Okay, Riddler. He's in here. I 
I wish you would be able to tell where your traps are more easily. Like maybe the like the same faint effect, you know? But the same faint effect that's supposed to be there for all traps, but uh you know not. Oh, you absolutely put something on that door. Or I did. Doors don't hum like that. <laughs> well, you never know. Maybe it's a magical door. <laughs> I mean, technically. Damn it! Damn it! I was so close. I was like, I'm just going to sprint over there. And if he gets me, he gets me. But you got me before I could drop the thing. Damn it. Oh, well. You know, if I, I, was, I, I opened the door oh, and saw a floating orb dance by, and I was like, oh, what do you know? If you'd walked through that door, though. Oh, I'm sure some... they would have been a grand time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time I see a closed door, I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey! I got punched in the face by a skeleton. Yeah. I love that we're both in the portal uh, portal labyrinth. Oh my god, I keep ending up in here. I just got out. <laughs> right back in. Also, I may be hiding your orbs as I find them. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, great. That was fantastic. Destroyed my orb, too, great. I'm going to just quickly Oh man, this is the closest You are barely ahead of me That was it. Ah, oh, 
Look at how close that was. You triggered more of your own traps this time. Yeah, we were, we were at the 50 second mark, less than a thousand points away from each other. That was, that was a good one. I like that round. Yeah, that one was, that was great. I, I really wish it you could just replay instead of having to drop to the menu. Oh, also, you can find cosmetics in the in the map because I found a chain to hang around my uh, shriek. Oh, no kidding. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, invite sent when you're ready. Hold on one second, let me message Yvonne real quick. Okay. Oh, I just hit accept. That's okay. We'll just, uh, just don't move yet. All right, I am here. Uh, ready, set, go. Okay. Oh shit! Don't you love it when that happens? Oh, ho. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so y something you're doing keeps sending my altar back to me. <laughs> yeah. And it is absolutely something you're doing. Not, I'm not doing anything that I'm doing, though. Well, it's not something I'm doing. I have not been summoning my altar. It just keeps coming back. <laughs> oh. I scried you, watched you do that. <laughs> Don't you love it when a plan comes together? Meanwhile, I've got Tinkerbell on my ass. Finally. Sprint! No, don't. That's a bad idea. What's in there? Your what? My screen is completely blank. Your screen is blank? Yeah. I 
can't uh -oh. see anything. Uh, alt tab, uh, escape. Might have to restart the game. I hope not. Did that fix it for you? Nope. Okay. All right. We're going to have to call this one null and void then. Oh, no, nope, that did fix it. Oh, okay. Well, that works. Um, I'll give you two minutes where I won't do anything to balance that out a bit. Well, a minute. Starting at six minutes to five minutes remaining i won't be i'll just stand in a corner and not do anything so that you can get your score to kind of balance out what i was doing while you were having a black screen issue sound fair I, yeah that's fair i wow. appreciate it the one request is if you find me don't don't spook me because you know Yeah. Now, that said, if you end up with a scry spell, absolutely hold on to that for when that five when it hits that five minute mark. We are a ch we are channels of fair gameplay and sportsmanship. Three, two, one, I am active again. All right. I don't know what you're talking about. Doesn't sound like me. Oh, that's the thing that you cast in the doorway. Fascinating. Fey embers, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. I think you're in the room with me. Maybe not. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Damn it. I keep in my brain. I keep mixing up uh, the space bar and the cast the spell button. I keep you know, the space bar and the dash button. Hmm. Yeah. I keep keep shrieking when there's nothing to shriek. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's great is I just opened a door that had both of our traps on it because I just blew myself backwards and got electrocuted by yours <laughs> at the same time. So I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh.
I think that's three, isn't it? So something that I discovered that I really used into a to great effect that round was the slow open of the doors. Cause the slow open, if you open them quickly, like if you just left click and pull, they creak. But if you just slow pull, they don't always creak. Sometimes they do. And I think it's just because it's a little fiddly about what's fast and what's not. But yeah. All right. Cool. I won one. It's not impossible. <laughs> I think that I had to count partially because I couldn't see anything for a little while, but... Yeah. Yeah, if that happens again, we'll just cancel the match and start over. I'll still do one this time. Okay. Also, when you're getting spooked by me, are you getting like a... A female voice laughing at you or anything? Yes, I am. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. Because that was intentional. And I was curious if it actually was noticeably different. It is definitely different. Um, the, the guy's voice is like a. <laughs> yeah. Like a... <laughs> Would you say the girl's voice is creepier, do you think? Relative. Yeah. Accurate? Okay. Cause that's that's what I design that's why I designed that's why I went with the female voice, because I'm like, what will Matt find creepy? Why do I feel like you're right next to me? Probably because you are. Oh, so this is what the dark's like. That's not that bad. I thought it was like pitch black, but it does allow you to actually Congrats. It does let you actually see in a ring around you. That's good. I didn't want to do that. Like that. <laughs> God, I love that spell. <laughs> I, had, I had a feeling I should have listened to it. Yeah, you opened that door and I'm like, oh, hi. Okay. <laughs> hmm. 
Man, there's a whole red orb treasure trove in here. Let me just... Make things a bit easier for you. Easier? Is that the word I want? No. No, it's not. What was aggravating? What happened? That might have been me triggering my own chat on that day. Mm. Mm-hmm. That is incredibly aggravating when that happens. Again, I really do love the environmental storytelling in this game. Well, there's that, and one of those as well, that's good to know. Oh, that's not the spell I thought that was. Oh well. I was not thinking. Your turn. You triggered Come on. my trap card. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Oh shit, okay. Hey, did I just hear that sound again? You didn't hear anything. Well, that's not the button I wanted to do. Oh, well. Damn it. Here, have another. You know. Anything to help. That. Okay. <laughs> nice. Well done. You were waiting for me to open that door, weren't you? Actually, I was for a, a while. I was waiting for you to come out into the hallway to see the type of my left for your altar. But I, I came in that room. I walked by. I saw the floating door. I was on my way to go to the altar, man. You could have just waited. Oh, I see the magic spell thing. I can see it now. I know what to look for. Oh, fuck me. I am surrounded by traps. That's great. One, 
give me something I can use. Yeah, I was I was hitting multiple traps like it was one or the other By the way, have you found my little treasure trove for you yet? In the computer room? Yeah Yeah, I found a couple on the floor and then I saw a door that was uh, that had a trap on it There were actually three on the floor there I'm surprised you missed the third. <laughs> Literally what I did was I for a bit at the start there was I was gathering the red orbs, put collecting them in the center of that room. At least the ones I could find. And I put one decoy orb in there. <laughs> yeah, the, de the decoy orb can be really fun. Absolutely. What, what's even more fun is if you find oh, a good spot. My game crashed. Just... Oh, okay. If you find a good spot, uh, you know, like an Oh, wait, no, it didn't. You chuck a bunch of orbs into it, and then you use the arcane. Yeah, yeah, that, I thought about that one, but I'm like, that feels like it wouldn't work for some reason. <laughs> okay, all right. Sending invite. <clears throat> Have you had an issue with the flashbang spell where sometimes the audio would cut out and not come back in? Oh, he might be AFK. Yeah, he's talking to somebody else. No problem, Matt.
Right trap. Welcome back, Matt. Hey, Rose, what do you need help with? Invite accepted. There we go. But yeah, Matt, while you were stepped away before I before it clicked that you'd stepped away. I asked if you'd been having issues with the, uh, uh, with after the flashbang trap, having audio, your audio cut out and not come back. Okay. So that's just a me thing. Good to know. Also, I think I might have been hitting all of my flashbang traps, so. Oh, I didn't mean to slam that. You need help with not being old, Rose? Sorry, I can't help you with that either. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Fuck. Damn it. I need to be more careful than that. Oh, did you see the locker with that uh, little S special S shape on it that everybody drew in school? Actually, there's several of them with it, but I love the references. Oh, ho. Did you just trigger your own trap? I did that. Uh, Rose, why do you feel... Older. Was the question I was gonna ask. Why do you feel older, Rose? I better put this where some somewhere he can't find it. Not, not even see me. Oh shit! I said that out loud.
So, there was like 30 different sound effects all happening in that room. And I guessed. For the record. <laughs> this, oh, the special S? Fair, fair Rose. But yeah, no, the, like all of the sound effects were happening. You were cast, like you cast like three spells, basically. Oh man, you made me drop the orb I was carrying. Where'd it go? Oh my god, it's kind of it kind of glitched. Oh no, it fell. For a bit, the orb I was the red orb I was carrying was stuck in the air <laughs> because I'd gotten because you knocked me back with that wisp. But then it fell to the ground. That was funny. Oh ho. So are you on which side of that lock are you on, my friend? Oh, I don't know. You know what? I don't like where you're at. No. <laughs> Took me into a portal there. Apparently. Man, all I'm finding are red orbs. Well, just for that. We cast the exact same spell on each other at the exact same time. I hit by a gust of wind spell the exact same. Yep. Finally. Where the fuck is my Oh. Hallway. Damn. Good job. <laughs> Turned around and really it's cause I it's cause I told you your altar was in the hallway, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it's no longer... When I said it, it was in the thing, and then shortly after, it was gone, so I, I assumed either you summoned it or... Now, what I was... What I've also been wondering is do they relo relocate periodically? Uh, periodically, yes, they do relocate. Okay. Okay. Then that... Are you having trouble finding your orbs? Like, at all? This time excluded. <laughs> I was for a little while. Yeah, I've been finding... I've only been... Like, I... There are more red orbs on this map than there are blue. I, I swear to Christ. Gotta love that. Ah, there's one. I'm doing a danger. Oh. 
You bad. You timed that badly, man. <laughs> if I can get one more freaking orb, but I don't think there is another orb in this goddamn another blue orb in this goddamn game. Yeah. The immediate next blue orb I pick up is, of course, like, I'm like, I was looking at it, I'm like, that is a trap. That is a trap, but there are no other blue orbs on this map. <laughs> I found one, is there a trap one too? Nice. Damn. Did you cast a spell that made all the blue orbs, or, blue orbs red? I swear to Christ. Oh, hurt me. So I just discovered at the very end, there's that one classroom with all the filing cabinets. Mm-hmm. You can open those too. I bet they were full of blue orbs and that they were the only places that had blue orbs left. <laughs> I, did, I did find two of them. Okay, so real talk. Were you like hiding the blue orbs when you would find that would find them? I uh I might have grabbed a couple and chucked them over in a corner. Okay. Cause there because there were blue orbs I would find I found, then mentally marked the location, went back for them later, and they were gone. <laughs> Or I'm just crazy, which is also very viable. All right, I'll send you an invite. Invite Sam. The first three episodes of Vox Machina are out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they dropped this morning. I've not had a chance to watch them yet. I, I have D&D. &D. Uh, Sorry. It's all good. And so the, the weekend is the worst time to try to do anything with me because I have D&D &D all day Saturday. And then I have, and then Sunday is my chores day. And so like, it, it's gotta be the like week for the most part. Oh, I'm red this time. Yes, you are. I did it, dumb. I was following you. I was following you from the minute you you uh, triggered your altar. But my dumb was that I was I was too close. That is, I and I stepped right on your trap. Yeah, I know. I trapped what I trapped one of those doors too. <laughs> I don't tell you which one.
I don't know what you're talking about. That's right. I'm going to trigger my own traps. Mm -mm. Well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep, punch you in the face again. <laughs> Thanks for the t uh, two sets of five hundred points. Oh, my God, I am red. I'm not blue. Damn it. Oh, this is so trapped. I was waiting for it. And I fell into a black hole. Yeah. <laughs> I got a feeling that is wrong. Oh, that is absolutely trapped. Oh, well, there's my thing. Oh, and there's a... Oh, the game took pity on me! Ooh. Oh, no! God dang it. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did summon a clone. That's the oh dang. Got me a poke line and cinder. I'm triggering your own traps.
Jesus did. <laughs> Thank you for letting me out of that room, by the way. <laughs> I had not thought about it and trapped myself in the room with traps. So I was just kind of like, well, I'll wait. <laughs> Oh, you're in here, aren't you? Okay. I tried. Oh, fuck me. Well, you know right where I am, don't you? <laughs> yep, I'd have had you because I saw you. I saw you with your damn orb. I saw you with the orb, but I, um, I had misfired earlier. Oh, that one was so close. separated us that time yeah no the um genuinely the uh the game kept throwing us into the same room like three times where i got forcibly relocated like every almost every time i got forcibly relocated that match i ended up in basically the same room you were in at that moment or were about to be in which was fascinating all right I'm gonna go ahead and send the invite, but that doesn't mean go to that to go ahead and immediately accept it. I got some new stuff I want to look at. Yeah, there's, um, you have to remember that even, you can even unlock things for the locked skulls. Yeah. And that's the thing that took me forever, to, a minute to realize. Um. Okay, that was cool. I figured that Oh my god, there's a level 2 spell just called It Follows. 
Oh. oh it's one of those wisps. It's one of those wisp ones. It's the summon a stalking wisp to harm your foe. Um but the fact that it's called it follows is oh yeah they have some good names on these cards yeah and i love that theoretically you can be like you can look at be looking for rune specific runes to uh figure out which spells you want to know ahead of time which spells you want to do and stuff but that's a lot of freaking memorization and I'm not, I'm, no. <laughs> it is a tremendous amount. Ooh, I also found a, uh, like a story script for the grimoire. Uh, you want me to read it? Uh, sure. 82691, first day of school. I'm supposed to write in this. This is my grimoire, my book of shadows. My spells go in here. Notes cribbed from my textbooks tomes tomes sounds way more heavy go uh, uh, notes from cribbed from my textbooks tomes tomes sounds more heavy go in here my journal goes in here then at the end of the year you get lots of people to sign it to show you're not a loser i guess <laughs> i don't know i've never been to a cult school uh i've never been to a high school either i miss my friends i miss cornfields i miss the wet chill and pretty sadness of fall coming on but I'm in friggin' Arizona. Mom and dad wanted me to go to a school where my special gifts could get training. Always wanted to go to Innsmouth Academy on the East Coast, but we're not rich. So here I am in Little Springs. Go blue collar warlocks, go jackalopes. Can you believe, uh, can you believe that's our mascot? Shoot me. Um, but I, <laughs> but I have to make the best of it. Mom and dad left their jobs, friends, everything, just so I could come here and study. No pressure, right? The first hour teach uh, the first hour teacher needs to take a chill pill. You'd think it'd all be it'd be all hexes and potions here, but no. He spent the whole period ranting about good spelling and grammar. They're called spells for a reason, he said. He said magic is just the grammar of the cosmos, and dictionaries are just another type of grimoire, and that we should each have one, and that strunk and white are, uh, and strunk and white are forgive my parlance goddamn archmages of the noble uh, noble art of scrivnomancy and you should have all have their book in your pockets as well say it don't spray it man Arr, it's so hot this is not the place to wear the, the place to wear black <laughs> interesting yeah so i had found a like just a loose glowing page not like one of those books that pops up and, and powers up your shriek um but uh just like a loose glowing page uh and when i interacted with it it said added to grimoire i had assumed it was some spells but no it was apparently some journal pages um and that's also how i found uh chains to hang around my my uh scarecrow's necks so yeah. I love it. anyway when you're ready no rush did add one new customization to my skull. Oh great, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Cause Lord knows I will probably be seeing it. <laughs> okay. Sprite, wings of tight, sprite trap. Hot scotch and ghost flame. Interesting. I am blue. Da ba dee da ba die. Singing? What what's singing? Pros. What, what is this? Oh, no, we'll just close that right back up. Yes, I'll take that. Thank you. They're neck and neck. It follows. Yeah, follow. All right. One of the things is I need to be a bit more strategic and tactical about which doors I trap. 
instead of just, you know, trapping for the sake of trapping. Which is what I was doing. I was just, I'm like, ooh, trap, put the trap down. Ah, the wisp. That's right. It followed you and got you. It sure did. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, well, well. What the hell was that? That I'd be singing it? I don't know what you're talking about, Rose. Oh, you've got trap vision. Isn't trap vision great? Almost as great as finding an orb. I'm Jamie. I'm a dumbass who just triggered his own trap immediately after placing it. Where'd it go? There it is. Nice to meet you, Rose. Oh, you hit me with an amp. Okay, well, I now know where two of those are. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Hi, I'm scared. Okay, less scared now. Oh! I... Yes! Okay, that door is trapped. I have fully wrapped myself in here like an idiot. <laughs>
But what doors you open? Oh, what you might find. Ah, another red orb. Get the fuck out of my way. Well. Maybe you'll enjoy that. That's a gift for you. That sounds like a gift for you. I was so excited to finally be out of the room I was stuck in. Because <laughs> I finally found a room that gave me hopscotch. <laughs> I know, right? Hopscotch is one of the best possible spells. I was not thinking. I was like, shit, I need to catch up. Oh, that is absolutely a trap. Okay. Well. Fusion. Ah! That one's one of yours. Now that I absolutely know what to look for on the tr on the doors to see what they're trapped, what, which ones are trapped and which ones aren't. Cool. Where are you? Oh, you're in the hallway. And of course, that's trapped. Okay. Fuck, that's trapped. Well, I saw one of yours. Where's one of yours? Where was yours? Oh, it's like right here. Fine. It double trapped. <laughs> I'm, I'm completely trapped in this dungeon. Uh -huh. I I bet we were trapped on opposite sides of the freaking hallway. Honestly, that would not surprise me. Game took pity on me and had my altar spawn in on me. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I started to say, don't forget that the, uh, um, that sometimes orbs can be hidden in, uh, trash cans next to desks. You're gonna win, cause I there's no way I can fuck it. Yeah. I think we need to just put, make a truce between us, not to not to trap the doors in the hallway. You know what I mean? Because we each trap the four doors in the hallway, which means that inevitably we end up trapped at one point or another in the hall like out of the hallway in one of the sets of two rooms or even in one room because we're like that door is trapped you don't want to open it <laughs> <laughs> it's so frustrating <laughs> oh, imagine if if it was all trapped and it was a map where you didn't have the ability to dash through the door right 
Um, now I will also say that I bet, I bet there is that you're supposed to just be like, okay, well, I'll have to bite the bullet, bullet and hope they're not here. You know? Oops, wrong button. All right, so let's see here. It's 9.30. We have time for some more. Oh, assuming you're still up for it. Alright, cool. Oh, how'd you like my, uh, my, my, um, my fire breath? Oh! Uh... On my streak. Lovely! Lovely, just lovely. You know, they, they told me to watch the... They had me time to lay before eating those peppers for a reason. <laughs> Drinking that Tabasco sauce. Drinking liquefied ghost peppers was a bad idea. I didn't listen. And devil, and you had the devil's asshole for the next three weeks. Pretty much. I am Rob. Yay! Da ba dee da ba da. But yeah, don't forget that orbs can. I keep. I do. I say this because I keep forgetting. Orbs can be in uh, trash cans. Uh, like the the open ones. Why do I feel like we're in the same room? We're not. <laughs> Which is why I said we're not. <gasps> oh, it's over here. No. You got trapped though, or tricked. Enemy can sense me, huh? I took a 50-50 shot. Which room were you in? Because I knew you were in one of those two, one of these rooms. Um, careful what door you open, because I think I, uh, I trapped one of them. I don't remember which trap, which door it was, but I trapped one of them. So be careful. <laughs> oh ho. Yeah, there's a lot of lingering silence in the game in the game when uh after the flashbang goes off. I may shot Spider in the vortex, don't mind if I do. Oh, that was a good combo that I just did. Uh, no. What I did was I found 
Um, uh, I found one of my my thingies, my orbs. Uh, it told me where the altar was. I lined up against the wall and hopscotched past the hallway directly into the room with the with the altar. Something, something, something. Fairy fire. Dang it, I can see you, but I don't have my tree. Oh, you know where I am? Well, that's not horrifying. Jesus. Oh, -ho. clever putting a trap on that part of the door. Oh, I know where you are. I can hear you. Hear you. I don't think I can get to you, though, is the thing. I wonder if there's a way to avoid the wisp that haunts, that hunts, you know? Hey, take a break. Which is why I told you to take a break. <laughs> oh man, our scores are so freaking close. <laughs> like getting knocked back like that would freaking hurt. Oh, you can sense me, huh? Uh huh. Come on. Oh my god, you're on the other side of the wall. I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh god, that's so ugly. I wish I could just make it like that. you hiding my orb. I don't know what you're talking about. So you don't know about the uh the little desk that I opened in here and found three of my orbs chilling in it? Actually no I didn't <laughs> <laughs> Yeah no <laughs> news to me <laughs> Like oh there they are how, how nice of them. Put them all in one place. 
Damn. Come on. Where's my damn? Okay. Of course it is. There is so much fairy fire in this level. I was hoping, I was hoping you wouldn't see me because I needed the time to grab another orb. I don't have time now. Yep. Congrats. Congrats. Well done. And now you're mine. All right. Let's see what new stuff we have. Is it the Mohawk horn? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. It's telling me I have customizations uh, that I a new customizations unlocked, but I'm not seeing the exclamation mark on anything in the game in the actual menus. You know? Yeah. Anyway. Ready for next round? Remind me which one that is. It's uh, another combination of three runes that, um, for a certain amount of time, makes you completely immune to the next time your opponent attempts to shriek you. Ah, yeah, that is pretty powerful. There's there's a reason that one's a three. <laughs> yeah. I, I got it the one round that I was going out of my way to be as loud and obnoxious as possible in the hope that you would come over and try to scare me. Nah, yeah, the I thing you... <laughs> The main thing you have to remember, I'm a bit of an idiot. <laughs> Me.
Lol. Did I at least take credit for the award? Uh, I think it did. I think yeah, you, you'd have 20,000, so yeah. Uh, I watched, I heard you open the door into the hallway, uh, and you're right after your, uh, altar had, it had, uh, materialized in the room I was in. I heard you into the hallway and I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, I'll put a trap on this door over here and then go stand next to this one over here. And then you slowly creeped open the door in front of me. Well done. That fire breath is pretty nice. I like it. <sighs> okay. So oh shit. Okay. You are where I thought you were. I kind of wish, I don't know. Actually, I don't know what I wish, you know? Like part of me is like, I kind of wish the hallway was a no man's land where the altars wouldn't spawn. But on the other hand, that would very much limit <laughs> our options. You know? Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, that's that's the part that kind of annoys me the most. You know, is the uh, is that some tra that the traps get rid of your uh, orb, and if you get spooked, it gets rid of your orb. Like it does, and it doesn't just drop it. Which is what it should do. I also wish crouching was a bit more effective in this game. You know? Like maybe passive footstep sounds that if you crouch walk uh doesn't happen that would be nice oh hello Come to me, my friend. Hook my ass. I bet I dare you. Hee <laughs> hee. Of course, it lasts long enough for 
that my photo wear off. I need to make your getaway. Yeah, that's the balancing effect of it. He says as if this game is balanced at all. Right. It's fun and it's unbalanced, though, in my opinion. I can, I can, I hear that. Okay. Where is... Okay, not near me. I feel like being like a... Hmm? I feel like these doors move a lot faster than they should. I mean, the, port, the, the um, summoner port portals, I mean. Oh, yeah, a little bit. I vibe with that. Like I, I identified where one of them was. I went over to try to get to it. But by the time I got over there, it was already moved somewhere else. Right. Uh, I'm just going to make a break for it. I also kind of wish there was an element of like disarming the magical traps your opponent puts like other than just having the spell that dispels them you know This one. Yeah, I'm still running away. Let's try to fade away again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. this one yeah i think i do too not to not to like gloat or anything just yeah no i i just oh there it is out here in the damn hallway of course <laughs> i may be a filthy little camper i may have i may keep confusing shift to dash with control Mm hmm I my thing is I keep mixing up uh I keep mixing up uh uh shit what's it called? The uh cast a spell button and the shriek button. That's what I keep mixing up is those two. Though I did pretty well that that round, not not casting a spell when I mean to shriek or shriek when I mean to cast a spell. Yes, you did. I may have played I, I I'm not sure how I feel about that victory that round. Uh because I I there's a part of me that's like I feel like I played a little dirty in that like I camped your altar and just waited for you to show up either with an orb or to open something and just blast you. <laughs> like, it, yes, it's one of those things that technically the game allows you to do, but does that mean it should be done? You know? <laughs> Ooh, 
Question, when you got the horns that were the mohawk, was it, for the skeleton, was it the metal mohawk or the bone mohawk? Yeah, I have the metal one now too. You want to do one more? Okay. Yeah, we can do one more. And then whoever whoever is highest on the leaderboard, cough you, uh, will be the winner, and we'll get to do the sign out for both of our channels. How's that sound? As a prize. Basically, unless I like blow you away in this round, I sent the invite by the way. Um, unless I like blow you away this round, uh, <laughs> you will probably be doing the, the thing because you're that much ahead of on points on the leaderboard. Okay. I wish I could remember what any of these mean. <laughs> I bet if we mained this like every day for a year, we would have them memorized. Oh yeah. But also that kind of feels like less fun. <laughs> you know? Because part of the randomness, same, be followed. It would be hilarious if we ended up in the same labyrinth and could see each other and just kind of like waved. <laughs> I wonder whose fault that is. Found your altar yet? Well, I, I did now. I, I, cause I was in the room looking for the, the thing, and then your little laughing friend sent me to the freaking shadow realm. <laughs> you triggered the trap card. Part of me kind of wishes that you that spells wouldn't stack on things. You know? Like uh you wouldn't be able you, you like any like if I put a spell on a door that you had a spell on it would uh cancel your spell and put mine on it. Uh that way both don't hit at the same time. I can understand that. But like But for real though, the thing that I really wish that they had in this was the ability to like do like a miniature uh, mini game thing to try to uh, uh, come on. Uh, to uh, disarm traps. 
finish that thought. Like a like a DBD time press uh, button press thing. And like you're completely vulnerable while you do it. You're not visible, but you're vulnerable. Um type of a thing. Uh slows you down, wastes your time, kind of a thing. I'm being socket. Hooray. Hooray. Oh no! Oh, okay. I bet you are. And I bet it's my fault. Well, partially my fault too. I've been trapping the hell out of all the enemies. I've noticed. For whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not having any luck. <coughs> hey, you're still beating me in score, man. Oh, are you not trapped? <gasps> you're not. Tra oh, you are trapped. Ooh, okay. That's nasty. The way that that thing can. Ah, never. It follows. But the way that that. Uh, the way that the trap on the door can really appear anywhere. Alright, take me. But yeah, I'm glad it makes you drop the orb. I wish it didn't erase the orb from the game. Yeah, you know? It seems to be at random. Sometimes it doesn't, other times it does. Oh, did it just, it just, it left me in the same room. Damn. Okay. Well. Fine. Matt, I blame you. <laughs> Actually, I think one of these traps might be my fault. Yeah. That, that's kind of where I'm at, too. <laughs> Opening doors and hoping. I, I, I heard you mashing your keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I saw you go in because of my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my, re my revealing spell or whatever the hell they call it. The vapor, va the, you know what I'm talking about. Um, oh my God, it put me across the hall again. <laughs> oh, hey, I know where your, uh, your thingy is. I wonder what happens if I do this. Nothing. <laughs> God, I love that spell. <laughs> Aren't I nice for letting you get your orb first? Oh, yeah, you're a, it's, it's tremendous. Yep. I'm just an absolute peach. Put me right back in the same room. 
this all get more people recapped again. <laughs> Hey, by the way, I put an or a blue orb on your altar for you. <laughs> this game completely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to the same goddamn room with like 14 traps on every door. That was happening to me. Uh, one of the other, one of the previous games, one of the last two, or something like that. Same game, same same room, like every time. Uh, I think what it is is that it's a it's predetermined based off of what room you get shrieked out of. You know, because um, I think with the portals and stuff, and the uh, that's all like RNG, um, based off of which spell you're hit with and whatnot. But I think with the uh, with the shrieking, it's a spe like it sends you to the extreme opposite side of the school from where I'm where you're where you were shrieked uh, to get you as far away from your opponent as possible. I think, um, but in a in a map that's only four rooms and a hallway, that can be predictable. Now I don't know if that's true or if it was just that it got stuck, um, but. It's definitely a thing to consider, um, and keep in mind. Uh, <laughs> I got you with the same spell twice, and then your own spell told me where you were. <laughs> I, I was getting so infuriated. Constantly trapped in rooms, I would bust my way out, and then I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't ever get to my my altar. And this is probably salt in the wound, but I kept putting orbs of yours on your altar. Right. So that, like, basically it was a, will he think they're traps and leave them alone? Or will he take the risk and try for the point type of a thing, you know? Um... Well, with that being said, I did get another um, Grimoire entry. Um, yes! This one says, Ooh, 9.7.91. So, I played Dungeons & Dragons tonight. Not Great. It's important that I socialize with the mundane. Keep perspective, I guess. So there I was, in the basement of the room, playing, playing a D&D. &D. It was actually pretty fun. Except I got stuck playing the wizard, because, you know, that's what I want to be a wizard in my fantasy life. Um... <laughs> My party and I are battling the demon lord Orcus, and it's my turn, and we're surrounded by hordes of zombies, and everyone's yelling, cast magic missile, no, no, lightning bolt, and it's all I can do to keep from yelling, that's not how evocations work, but I don't, hush and hush, 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 no, whatever. You'd think a cult textbook would be more exciting, all demon god needs are too many consonants and, and lightning bolts. It's not, it's pretty academic, this one text by some doctorate student named H.J. Montag is so freaking dry. I want to slip my wrist just to wet the page. Ooh. Reads like yeah. instructions. Yikes. <laughs> but the historians are pretty cool. Histories are pretty cool. There's this one gal, Laughing Jenny. Stone cold badass, like King Solomon level. She's hardcore. Jenny doesn't give a shit. The grunge magus of the 1800s. I'm cribbling lots of Laughing Jenny notes from the history books into my grimoire. She did like an insane amount of living. She even partied with a... Lafitte brothers. She didn't invent every spell, but came up with new ways to use them. An outside of the box thinker. But she was a ride to hang out that she was a ride to hang out with. When I grew up, I want to be like Laughing Jenny. Always be Laughing Jenny. Yeah. I'm Unless like Laughing Jenny was a horrible person. Unless Laughing Jenny was a racist, then don't be Laughing Jenny. <laughs> yeah. I think of Jenny, I think of Jenny from I think of like Jenny. And she was an awful. She was a pretty awful person too for a while. Hmm. Question: Was your uh, fire breath animation was that barf or was it actually just called fire breath? No, it, it was called barf. Okay, so I, I have that one now too. 
I'm not going to use it, but because I, I like the Scarecrow better. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, let's, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Um, I was correct. You are very much <laughs> the high score out of the two of us. Um, by a good 8,000, looks like, at yeah. least. A l a so, uh, 8, 000, but pretty close. Yeah. So congratulations, Matt. Well done. We'll say you won the night. Um, Some good back, it, back and forth, especially toward the end. Oh yeah, it took me a little bit to warm up because I this is this was literally my first time playing the game. I didn't I hadn't I didn't even touch it to test it out. Um, what I'd done is I'd seen somebody stream it, um, and I was like, oh, that looks like fun, one v one kind of thing. Interesting. Um, I bet Matt would like this, and so I suggested it to you. Saw that it was free and was like, even more so. Um, but yeah, it's currently free. Hide and Shriek, currently free to play on Steam. Um, and maybe other places, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, absolutely check it out if you want. Um, but uh, yeah, congratulations, Matt. Let's all give Matt a hand of applause. Um, yeah, this and... Fun. Yeah, this was absolutely fun. Um, we might do more of this at some point if we're both up for it. Uh, we might not. It heavily depends on our schedules and the vibes and whatnot. Um, Thursday, as I've been saying for me, Thursdays are up in the air schedule wise. Um, but uh, yeah, we are definitely going to, be, but we do know for a fact that we will be doing something on Halloween day itself, which is uh, also a Thursday. Thursday Isn't it Thursday? I thought it was Thursday. Um, no, yep, you're October right. 31st, Thursday. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be, nice. we'll definitely be doing, we'll definitely be doing something on Thursday that, uh, on that Thursday, uh, I believe is what we said, unless something has come up between, if something comes up between now and then. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll do some Phasmo or Forewarned or just something else entirely. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll figure something out. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, we will definitely figure something out. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, congratulations, Matt. You won. Um, the prize you have won is to do the outro for both of our channels. Uh at the same time. Congratulations. All right then, everyone. So I guess we'll I'll do a shout out on my end. Make sure to check out, um, if you haven't followed him already, make sure to check out my friend Crimson Night Gaming. He streams Mondays, Tuesdays. Um, he streams just a about every day during during the actual week, um, to my knowledge, minus Thursday. Yeah. Um. You, Thursdays is not usual, but uh, Monday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, um, unless something comes up and I have to cancel, mm -hmm. which I try very hard not to do. Plays a um, wide variety of different games, including uh, he's currently playing through. Uh, I I know he played. He, he was playing through the Tomb Raider series for a while. Um, yep. I, uh, I completed the Tomb Raider series, actually. I'm currently in Horizon Zero Dawn for the first time. Absolutely amazing game. Um, however, this month is special because Spookmas. Um, so this month, we're, we're uh, doing the spoopy games. Um, I finished Made of Scare uh, yesterday, and it's a phenomenal game. Uh, phenomenal game. Uh, gorgeous music, creepy atmosphere from like the jump. Uh, the story is incredibly engaging. Wales Interactive, the the developer, really outdid themselves with it. They did a really good job. Um, and uh, so I definitely recommend that you guys check it out. 
I think you will really enjoy it, Matt. Uh, it seems right up your alley. Um, but, uh, you know, the, um, the next thing I'll be getting into this month, starting tomorrow, is I will be, uh, taking a bit of a detour away from supernatural horror and head into a bit more sci-fi horror with the game Prey. Ooh. Yep. Starting tomorrow at 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Ish. Give or take. 10, 20-ish minutes. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the next single-player game on my docket. Um, I was debating about going with Outlast. Um, however... After Made of Scare, which is one of the few games that I've played that genuinely had me scared, like actually had my heart rate up and like I could hear my heart beating in my throat like 90% of the game. Um, and I enjoyed the hell out of it every the whole time. I decided I wanted something a bit less... Uh, oppressive in its ambiance and from what i've seen online about outlast is it can get it has a lot of the same vibe to it um that grungy uh run down everything is haunted but totally not that you're constantly being hunted kind of thing um and i'm like yeah i could use a break from that so i decided to go with prey to go with a completely different vibe for a bit. Um, also, I've been wanting to play play Prey for a while. I just couldn't find I couldn't uh, find the right time to. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that. Outside of Spookmas, though, as Matt started to say, um, I had the uh, I've been doing Assassin's Creed on Mondays. Um, like, if you're watching this, if if you uh, want to check out my YouTube where my vods are. I've got Assassin's Creed, I've got to the Tomb Raider franchise, the entire Tomb Raider franchise, um, for the most part. Um, <laughs> uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I've been recently playing Sonic Origins, which is yes. good just old, good old Sonic. chef kiss. Just just chef kiss. It's, it's the exact hit of nostalgia that I've been needing the last few months. Um healing nostalgia heal soul healing nostalgia from the for the last two months um and then on fridays i've been doing dishonored um which is kind of fitting with prey because it's the same company that uh, arcane studios did both dishonored and prey so it's kind of fitting that i'm going with that now that i think about it um but uh yeah this month the spook miss it's all about the spooky um so yeah that that's my schedule. I'll let you get back to it. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. But yeah, um, make sure you guys go and check him out. Re really good dude. Inter he you know interacts with his stream. It's it's all pretty all pretty awesome all around. So make sure to check him out. Um, as far as my streams go, um, I stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um. With the ever so occasional um, stream on the weekends, but those are very sparse. Um, lately, I've been doing DBD Tuesdays, um, Cozy Game Wednesdays, and um, uh, Story Game went Thursdays. I've um, been playing a lot of um, Final Fantasy and um, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, before Final Fantasy, I completed the uh, Star Wars um, Jedi Survivor. Um, absolutely a, a really, really good game if you're a Star Wars fan. Um, as a good, it's like Dark Souls-ish, um, the closest I've ever done to Dark Souls. Um, you know, it's called a, I, I believe the genre is called a Dark Souls Light. There, there's a there's souls souls well it's the souls born and then there's the souls like l-i-k-e and then there which are um which are games that are 
basically clones, but not by FromSoft. Um, and then there's the uh, Souls Light, L-I-T-E, which is where they have a lot of the similar elements, but uh, are not are t tend to be kinder than Dark Souls. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the the Jet Fallen Order and Survivor, ooh, Chef's Kiss. Have you had a chance to look into Outlaws at all yet? I I have not. I've heard from basically from the people online that I whose opinions I actually care about and listen to on Star uh, when it comes to Star Wars, have said that it's really good. Like if you like. Story wise, if you really if you liked uh Survivor and Fallen Order, while it's not about a Jedi, it's still really good and you'll probably like this. Mm -hmm. Um But uh Yeah, you should check it out sometime. I need to check it out sometime. I need money. <laughs> Heck yeah. But yeah, with with spooky noise, um gonna be taking a little bit of a detour from our usual stuff um on tuesdays and thursdays wednesdays still should be the same though um but yeah that's pretty much it for me aside from all of that um we do have a couple of you fine viewers in the chat um i have a good idea on who we can raid um Oh yeah, I know exactly where we're going to go for our raid. How about yourself, man? Are you going to be raiding anyone? Um, Looking at my viewer count, probably not, because I think the only people in the v that are actually viewers right now are you and me. Uh, <laughs> so, nah, I won't be tonight. Um, right. But I personally, I try not to uh, try not to raid. And if I have less than uh, three viewers, but that's me. Um, yeah, for, for for me, it's if if it if it's one, I won't raid. Yeah, that's fair. If, if I have two, and if the stream is kind of small, I'll still raid just just because it'll make at least a little bit of an impact. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, guys, um, and you'll be streaming tomorrow, I believe, right? Yep. Pray. All right. Perfect. Apparently, we're going to space. We're going to be hanging out with a guy, with a person named Morgan Yu. It's going to be great. It's going to be a vacation, and nothing bad is ever going to happen. Well, nothing bad ever happens in a space game. Never, ever. I, Alien Isolation was fine. It was just a vacation, and you know, nothing, yeah. nothing bad happened in Alien Isolation, or Mass Effect. Well, <laughs> Mass Effect, you know, Ma Ma Mass Effect, well, well. Well known for being just a you know a, a space party just a game. chill cozy game. It was a farming sim, wasn't it? Yeah, like an alien farming sim. <laughs> you know, nothing, nothing in the game that will break your heart, um, that'll make you cry. Nothing like that. <laughs> Terrify the fuck out of you, gross the fuck out of you. You know, nothing. Yeah. Nothing like that. No. No. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. At any rate, um, anyway, I'm going to send my channel off to Beyond Time. Um, she is currently playing an early access game called Whispers of the Eyeless. Um, looks, uh, from what I've seen of it, it, it definitely looks, uh, it, it almost reminds me of um, Darkest Dungeon. It, it, oh, it interesting. Of those games. Mm hmm. Interesting, interesting. I have you. Pl you've played those games, right? While I have you here, you've played the Darkest Dungeon games. I've played a little bit of the first one. Okay, um, so I... the aesthetic says to me, like I haven't played one. I've seen it played a little bit, but I was I had it on in the background. I wasn't really paying it that much attention. Um, the aesthetic to me says horror game, but yeah. the gameplay says not from what i'm aware of the gameplay and so i was curious like a really gritty uh, um like you know a really gritty dungeon crawl like survival um 
and like the party management is interesting in those games because it's not just um your physical health and well-being that you have to look out for you have to look out for your party's mental well-being like um, a sanity meter kind of a thing they could go insane they get really really depressed they lose the will to, to fight and you have to try to keep up their morale um type of deal so and plus the music and the battle music in both one and two is absolutely kick ass i use it when i play D D all the time um absolutely love it Mm -hmm. So then my question is, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I clicked the wrong button. Uh, sorry, I just accidentally sent my stream into shield mode. <laughs> uh, I think, I think that fixed it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll mess with it off uh, when I'm done with stream. Anyway, uh, to finish, so for the final question that I was going to ask about it was, in your opinion, with your experience with Darkest Dungeon, would you call it a horror game, or is it just horror aesthetic? It's it's a it's horror aesthetic. Okay. I don't think it quite leans in far enough to be full on horror. Fair. That is fair. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Well, uh, thank you to Matt for joining me in this, uh, <laughs> in this goof off tonight. Um, Absolutely. and, uh, thank you to all the viewers. Thank you to, uh, on both of our channels. Uh, thank you to the developers who made hide and shriek. It was fun. Um, and, uh, yeah. It was a uh, fun little game. I enjoyed it. Yep. Same. Uh, and with that, to the Crimson Knight viewers, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves, and love everyone around you, and I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.